So, do you guys ever come home late from work, then it hasn't been started, you've got guests arriving, and you look outside your window and you notice that your children left their dirty handprints all over the window. Panic rushes over you and you desperately hope that no one sees those windows. We are Simtech Go To Crew and we are here to save you time so that you can appreciate the more important things in life. We are here to save you time by completing the tasks. We also envision ourselves saving the hours, of course. Um, what's innovative about our business idea is that it's twofold. On the one side, we're saving the busy people the hours, and on the other side, we're giving students the opportunity to gain work experience that they may use on their CV. Our primary research was conducted by surveying and interviewing 50 Pukekohe High School teachers and then a further 50 women at our parent workplaces because they match our target market demographic profile. In Franklin, our research showed 90% of women said that window cleaning is a necessary task they are often unable to complete. Our target market is women from age 35 and 65 and work more than 10 hours a week. This target market is willing and is able to afford our service. They tend to ask around friends and use social, local community boards and social media looking for suitable people to do household jobs. Our mentor's household is a fine, fine example of our target market, always running out of time, trying to balance the demands of running his own business and of course keeping his windows clean. Moreover, if you work in Auckland City, it can take up to three hours to get to and from Franklin. As for the student workforce, we understand their need because we've all been there trying to get that first job. As Simtech's go-to crew, we are trying to give students an easy way to be employed and gain useful references for their CV. Window cleaning is an achievable task students can do with minimal training and equipment. Putting the two ideas together is a win-win situation. It's a win for the customer, it's a win for the student employees, and it's a win for our business. The objectives we have set ourselves are not only economic. We aim to be a sustainable company, focusing our activities on the other three aspects of the quadruple bottom line. A main goal for us this year is to meet ethical and legal requirements according to the... for our workforce. Social responsibility is clearly spelled out in our mission statement and is go-to crew's reason to be. So how will we reach our customers? We'll launch our product using public relation techniques such as media articles in our local newspapers and social media websites, but, mo but more effectively will be word of mouth advertising. We'll charge our customers $35.50 an hour, which research shows, shows is a competitive price to get an affordable one in Franklin. As for our business, we will act on customer feedback. For the student workforce, we'll guarantee quality through a robust selection process and training program that we'll put our students through and sticking to the code of ethics by everyone. Our suppliers are Mitre 10, Bunnings, and Cook Co. Cleaning Supplies, who will be supplying our cleaning supplies. We have, we have five enthusiastic students who take ownership in our own success, meeting regularly in person, and signing into group chats and email. Communications, uh, communication is key to our success. To start a good company, we have generated capital by the issue of 20 shares to each director valued at $1 each. This creates a starting share capital of $100. In doing so, we have formed the financial basis and starting foundations of our company. Our cash budget and break-even point is based off a situation of 30 hours of jobs work every month. This has given, given us an estimated profit of $1,826.50 by the end of September. Based on this profit, our return on investment is 1,726%. Our break-even point is calculated to be 21 units, each unit being one hour of jobs worked and is expected to be achieved within the first month of July. Uh, we have reduced our fixed costs and startup costs by using free materials such as newspaper to the windows. We are using financial controls such as written records of invoices and receipts kept in a secure folder, and we are having all invoices signed either by the managing director or the financial director. Based on our cash budget, our sales projection, and our internal controls, we are likely to meet any unexpected expenses should they occur and maintain good cash flow throughout the financial year. We are Simtech, go to crew, and we are here to save you time.